Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. We are now joined by head softball coach Lucinda Melanson. And coach, let's recap last year's season, some of the highlights from the team and also some of the players. Mm -hmm. Well, last year we had a lot of young kids and that was a, a little rough for us last year, but I think that's really gonna pay off for us this year. And that's a, a big positive. They got tons of experience and we're already seeing that through the fall and the beginning of our spring. Um, uh, they've matured a lot, both on and off the field. So we're excited to see what they're gonna do. Uh, we had some great performances uh, from both our young and our uh, older players. Uh, we're expecting uh, for Bree to continue to have a strong year. Uh, we had uh, Katie coming in as a second baseman for us, and she started out rough, but we could easily see statistically where she was improving throughout the year. So we have some high hopes for her as well. And um, offensively, I think we're going to be a lot stronger this year with some good quality transfers and some growth within our team. As a coach, you know that leadership plays a strong role in the team's success. Who's going to fill that role for you guys and why? Well, right now, I think they're still trying to figure out that leadership aspect, but I feel confident that our three seniors, they know what we want from them, and I think they're going to come through. Uh, they want to have a very successful year, and I think Star on the mound and with Kelly and Holly positionally, I think they're going to provide some quality leadership, but our upperclassmen in general, Natalie as a returning pitcher will provide some uh, additional leadership along with Star. Um, and we have some young kids that I think each day uh, we have a different athlete stand up and, and be a leader for that practice, be a leader for that game. And we want them to do that. We want even the younger kids to feel as though when they have those opportunities to take them so that as they mature, they'll continue to, to evolve even better in their leadership skills. Well, you just mentioned Star Gilly and Natalie Kleeman. Let's talk about the pitchers. Who else will contribute in the pitching circle for you this season? Well, we have two new pitchers joining the staff this year. We have a transfer with Katie Austin, and we have a true freshman, Ashlyn Reagan, that will be joining us, and we expect some great things from them as well. Bree Hartley, sophomore catcher, talk about what you expect to see from her this season. We think that she's going to have a great year. She has been working hard, um, very hard. She's seen some uh, continued improvement throughout the fall and the spring, and so we're anxious to see what she does, uh, both defensively and especially offensively, because that seemed to be a big strength for her last year. Yeah. Any other catchers we expect to see this year? We could see Holly Berry back behind the plate again. That's an option. Uh, we also have a freshman, Caitlin Steele, and she is doing a great job uh, kind of learning the reins and getting a lot of time back there. So uh, we're going to see where she falls in line as well. Uh, Kristen Hobbs was a really good player. You lost to graduation at first base. Jamie Burwell played third base. Mm -hmm. You do have Megan Hiller coming back at third base. But as far as those corner positions go, how's that shaping up for the team? Uh, right now, Megan looks like she's going to be holding things down at first base for us. Uh, she's been doing a great job there, and we have a new uh, player, Shelby Holland, who's a transfer as well, and she's been doing a great job for us. And so we're excited to see what she does at third base. We also have Caitlin, who can play third base in addition to catching behind the plate, so there could be uh, some possibilities there. Shelby can play first base too, so we do have a little bit of depth both on, on each side. Holly Berry you just mentioned, Katie Wilson, second base. How do you expect the infield players to produce offensively as well as defensively? I think both of them are going to do very well. As a middle infielder myself, I know uh, the importance and I can understand uh, how nice it is to be able to work with the same person net alongside of you and to really get to understand how each other will work through plays and situations. So I think they're going to really do well defensively having known each other and I think that they're going to uh, offensively, I, I expect both of them to contribute well. Carly Wilson, Kelly Van Dyke in the outfield. Your left field position was left wide open after last year. So what have you guys done about that at this point in time? Well, it's still wide open. <laughs> we have five uh, young ladies right now competing for our, for our three outfield spots. So we're still in the heat of the battle. Uh, they are fighting it out every day at practice. And the best thing about that is that I feel confident no matter who we have out there, we're going to have a good, solid outfield because they've all been pushing each other very hard, and so they're all getting better. We only have a few seconds here, but as far as the outfield, what have you seen in the fall that makes you feel that comfortable about it? I think that they've learned, uh, their tracking has gotten better, they've really learned and pushed themselves to get behind the ball a lot better, which is key, and our throws have gotten a lot stronger and a lot more accurate. We're with head softball coach Lucinda Melanson. We'll be right back right after this.